Uh, so what is this automated part of searching? Um, a search folder is what we call a saved search. Uh, this is a very common tool across different software packages where if you run the same search on a repetitive basis, you should be able to save that search and come back to it. Now the problem is that because Microsoft named it a search folder, people often have difficulty sort of wrapping their heads around what a search folder actually is. A search folder is not actually a folder. If I go over here to the left side of my screen, I can see that I have search folders for all email that has been categorized, for example. And when I click on categorized mail, that search folder, you'll see that emails don't immediately instantly show up, but rather it had to take a moment, go out and run that search, and then it, it dumped in all of the different emails that met that criteria. So that should show you that a search folder is nothing more than a search that runs at any given moment in time. So for example here, let's say that I got an email from Jasmine. And then I decided, let's see here. So yes, I am Jasmine Slavic. <laughs> Here we go, let's compose a new email. And I'll push send. Now I know two things. I know item number one, that my Outlook has a rule already in place that every time I receive an email from anybody who has the at ymail.com email address, that will be automatically categorized. And in fact, as you can see here, the email that comes in from Jasmine has been categorized as client X. But I also know that a search folder is supposed to be a search, so it should immediately bring up the new email that comes in that has a category on it. In fact, that's what happens here. If I click on the categorized mail search folder here on the left, and I click on my Jasmine Slavic email that says this is a test that I just sent out and that the rule instantly categorized for me, that also shows up in the search folder. It is not duplicated because this isn't a folder location. This is not a physical location for an email to live. Rather, it's only a result of a search. In the same way here, any emails that are older than six months old, I should be able to click on this and see those come up. Any unread emails, there aren't any. Oh, oh wow, synchronization logs, and <laughs> these must be in my junk mail somewhere. But as you can see, those search folders immediately return the results from the different folders that are out there and show them in a given location. Now the interesting thing about this, let's say that I go over to my inbox and I actually put this email from Jasmine in the client X emails. I put this email from uh, James in the critical responses. I put this email from James in the financials, et cetera. When I go to my categorized mail, it shows me those emails that I've put into those subfolders even though they're in different areas currently. Now currently, what Outlook, what Outlook is doing is taking a, a view of this that puts this into by category categorization. You can see here that all of client X is clumped together. When I do this, I actually like to use the drop down menu here for by categories and switch this off to by folder. By switching it to by folder, I can now see that these two emails from Jasmine are in the folder called client X emails. This email from James is in the critical responses. This email from James is in financials. And these two emails are still in the inbox. So I can clearly get to different areas very quickly. I can realize what I was doing previously with my organization system and try to make this easier on myself. So just to go back and recap what we talked about with your rules earlier, should we be using search folders even if we don't have categories? 1,000%. Because if all I wanted to be able to do is find all emails from Jasmine, for example, if I go to the folder tab at the top of the screen, 
click on to new search folder, I can find all email from and to specific people, and I can put Jasmine's email address in here. Click choose down here in the bottom right, put in jasmine.flavik at ymail.com, and click OK. And so now, if I wanted to see all the emails from Jasmine and see where they were held, I could go again to the drop-down menu and choose Folder as the organization system. And I can see that the emails that come in from Jasmine are either in the Client X emails folder or in the inbox, depending on what I was doing with my organization that day. And this becomes a really quick and simple way of diving into the many, many layers of subfolders that a lot of people have. So again, to create a new search folder, to create a new saved search that we can reuse over and over again, I click on the Folder tab and click mm -hmm. Search Folder. Now, if you don't have the same tab system, if you've got an older version of Outlook, you'll just want to right-click where it says Search Folders and make a new search folder. So in the same way here, I might decide to run a custom search folder, create a search folder that finds everything that's been categorized a particular way, that's from a particular person. So I'll click Choose here. I'll put in here Boss Critical, and then choose the criteria. So in the From field, I'll put in, let's go with uh, James Howlett. So any email from James Howlett is going to first appear in the search folder. I'll click OK. I'll click OK. And I'll click OK. This email called Boss Critical now shows me this email from James, test run with software, this email from James that's been categorized as being new business, and this email from James that has the categories on it. But I have not done anything that says Boss Critical yet. So I'll right click on Boss Critical and go in and choose the properties of this. Or excuse me, let's go to customize the search folder. When I go to customize the search folder and I click criteria, I can not only say that it's from James, but under more choices here in the exact same way that we were able to filter earlier, we're able to run a search folder by going here to categories and saying that this is a critical follow-up email as well. And click OK. And click OK. And click OK. And notice what happens here. The boss critical search folder reruns the search Let's see, did I do anything wrong here? Critical follow-up. Let's find that email from James. There we go. So now this email from James is a critical follow-up category. Sorry, I thought I had done that at some point in the process. And now when I go to Boss Critical, that email from James that has been marked as a critical follow-up is the only one that shows up. If I find another email from James, I right-click on that email from James and I categorize it as being a critical follow-up email. Again, my Boss Critical will show me both emails from James that are marked as being critical follow-up. 